Hey guys, Beth Tuttle here. Today's video, I wanted to show you the power of the part of your brain called the amygdala. That's the part of our brain. It's like an alarm system going off in our head when we stress out. It's that fight, flight, and freeze mode that we feel. Whenever we stress out, the amygdala alarm goes off and then our body is flooded with these stress hormones. And we've all been stressed out before and some people might get that increased heart rate, labored breathing, sweaty hands, knots in our stomach, whatever it is, we've all had that experience. So what I want you to do is follow along with me while I basically tell a story and I want you to try to put yourself in this story and visually see what I'm describing. So in order to get started, just be sitting really comfortably in a chair have your feet on the floor, your body's relaxed, your arms relaxed, and let's start by just taking a couple deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Okay, so now you should be in a fairly relaxed state. And I'm gonna need you to close your eyes to this entire experience until I tell you to open them. So close your eyes and now I want you to picture yourself walking up to a really tall building. It's like a big skyscraper. It could have been a building that you've been to before, one you've seen in your downtown area or maybe on a TV show. So as you're walking up to this building, you just kind of look up and see how tall and beautiful this huge building is. So now you're going to walk into the building. It's got one of those turnarounds. You know, you walk in, start walking in a circle. You enter the lobby. You see the front desk there and the people working. I want you to find the elevator. So you look to your left and you can see it. So you start heading over there. And then you push that button. And the elevator doors eventually open. You step on. There's a couple other people getting on with you. And the door shut. And I want you to push the number 20. You're going to go to the 20th floor. So you push the number 20. And you're just taking a nice, easy ride. And then you hear the ding and the doors open and you're on the 20th floor. So you step out, you look around and everywhere you look, you just see glass windows. So I want you to head over to one of the windows. Just look out the window at the landscape, see all the other buildings. Maybe there's trees further out in the distance. Just take in that landscape. And then I want you to just look down towards the road. You see all the small cars and how small the people look. And then I want you to notice there's a handle on the window. So I want you to grab that handle and it just makes that window slide open. So slide that window open. And now you can feel that breeze coming in from outside. It's kind of lightly blowing your hair. And 
And now I want you to just ever so slightly lean your head out the window and look down towards the road again. And again, you see how very small those cars look and the people look. And you notice there's a six inch ledge below the window. So now what I want you to do is I want you to carefully step out onto that ledge. You can still hang on to that handle. Just start by putting one foot over the windowsill and stepping on it. And then bring your other leg over. And now you're pressed up to the building. You're really feeling that breeze on your whole body. And just ever so slightly, I want you to just tilt your head forward or down and look down at the road again, all the little cars and how small the people look. Okay, you can open your eyes. So when I do that at a live event, a lot of people will say, oh my gosh, I my hands were shaking and they felt sweaty. I felt sick to my stomach. I almost thought I was going to throw up. And the reality is that they were perfectly safe. You were perfectly safe sitting in your chair. That is just how powerful that part of our brain is. You know, it's the primal part of our brain that our ancestors needed to survive when they were in that cave and that saber-toothed tiger was going to come in to attack. The problem is, nowadays, most of the things we stress about are not life-threatening. We're worried about our finances, our health, the job we don't like, a relationship issue. When we continually stress about those, that amygdala part of our brain goes off just as if we are being attacked by the saber-toothed tiger. Our bodies are flooded with those stress hormones. We start feeling that heart beating faster and our breathing gets labored and our hands might get shaky or sweaty. It's as if we are being attacked. So I hope that you felt that. If you didn't, some people just can't get visual like that. They can't put themselves in a story like that. So the way you can experience it still is to think of something that happened in your past that made you really sad or angry. Close your eyes and put yourself back there. Think of who was there, what they said. And if you really tune into that incident, and it is still really bothering you, you are going to start feeling that in your body. Even though the person's not in the room with you, that incident happened in the past, you can get really angry or maybe tears in your eyes. You can put yourself back in that place when it's not even happening. You're just playing it like a movie in your head. So again, I just hope that this was a powerful experience for you to understand how very important it is to understand how devastating stress can be to our health and in our bodies and how crucial it is for you to find ways that work for you to reduce that stress, to calm that amygdala down, that alarm system before it goes off in your brain. So if you are watching this, Anywhere else besides my website, you can head over there at bethtuttle.com for more tips and techniques. Again, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, I'd love for you to hit that like button. Share it with whoever you feel may also help. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.